Hi guys, in this video we are going to be looking at how we can realistically move our image from one seat to a better seat in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative. Larry B. Man is my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. So this is the image. We are going to move the seat. We are going to move the seat to this page also. We are going to be making use of this page so as not to confuse ourselves in sizing and all that. So we have the seat here. This is the background. Let's move the background. Let's just drop everything here. We can also position the background very well, but there is still room to move the background around later. Let's just start and see. Then we have to bring this background down because it's going to be under. Click on the image and use Ctrl J to duplicate the image. Now we are going to move the image to the top. We pick our object selection tool and drag it around the image for it to select for us. Now we have the selection. I'm going to take time and make corrections. Now I'm going to fast forward it so that it's not going to take us too much time. So we are done with the selection, we right click and select inverse. Then after selecting inverse, we right click again and feather with 2. Then we can delete 3 or 4 times to remove the fringes and the edges. 1, 2, 3, 4. We use our Ctrl D to deselect. Now we can treat the hair. We have to make selection of the hair, the hair area so that we can make it clean and we still have the tiny details. There is a tutorial here on how I clean up this hair, so let's remove it. Then we we'll use background eraser to, to clean up the hair. Then once you zoom, you notice we we'll have the tiny details of the hair. Then we we'll have the image selected. Now, we we'll look at the image now. So this is before, this is after. We are now out of the background. Then let's go to the image again and reposition this image. Like as you can see, if you want to position image, you can you can notice that if I place it here now, you notice that she's a kind of out of the seat. She's out of the seat. Then let's take it back a little, considering this leg here, because if we take it this way, that means it has gone wrong. So we have to make it somehow like this. Should be okay. I think like this should be okay. I know you might be wondering what we are going to be doing with this area like this. What we are going to do, we can disable this image now and go to the seat and make selection of the seat. Just make selection of the handle of the seat. Let's zoom in and continue. You can stop anywhere here, then just go down and take it from the bottom. You can, it, it, the downside does not make any difference. Just take it this way and... So this area is under transparent stuff. So let's take it this way. You have to select the seat. Use your Ctrl C to copy and your Ctrl V to paste. Sometimes it shifts and move position. But if, if it happens like that, you need to use your up and down to arrow key to nudge and balance it back. 
So we have it this way now. If I disable it now, you notice that it's not moving. That means it is in the right position. Then if I disable the entire chair, you notice I'll just have the handle there. Let's enable the seat and select the handle. You can enable the the image and what you just do is just move this to the top. <laughs> Are you not seeing it? It's amazing. So we just have it on top. Then the next thing we do now is we have to create shadow, which is going to make it look more realistic. So we are going to create the shadow in between the seat and the and the image in between the seat and the image so for us to do that we'll select the seat go to this plus icon and add an empty layer then with that we we'll pick our brush to make sure our foreground is that color we selected which is close to the color of the chair then hit ok then you can just paint in something like this very simple i know it's too much but let's just there are some other places we need this thing let's just complete it and see how it goes then we still need this thing under under her lifted leg so we have it this way you can make it tick you can tick in it if we disable this top layer now you notice that everything is messed up but once you enable it you notice it's going well to this other side we still need to create something very tiny shadow here which is going to tell you that something is close close to that place even if there is light everywhere so we have to do it this way then stop it here do it this way then stop it here i think it's okay like this okay let's just go and reduce the opacity we can also come to the opacity later and check it again then this is the opacity reduced as you can see it's just like so subtle we are going to darken this area to merge this seat with that of the image then first of all let's go to the image and click on adjustment layer and choose brightness and contrast we can always use any other one to darken the image then we have the image darkened darkened to this extent so as to get those the bottom part of that place very dark so we we'll have it like this then we we'll use our control i to invert the layer mask then we we'll use our brush to paint on the image on the image to make this area dark so we we'll have it like this we can reduce the opacity and flow of our brush and increase the size of our brush and grow it up to the a little bit it's high feathering we have to clip this adjustment layer to this direct directly on this layer so that you don't affect any other layer then this is it okay we can darken the seat by using an adjustment layer for the seat click on adjustment layer then choose levels then for this level you take this bright side to the dark side once it's close to complete black then you can hit ok and use your ctrl i to invert and start painting then we are going to reduce the opacity and flow let's increase a bit like 50 percent thereabout and reduce the brush and paint directly on the seat between the seat and the image You can reduce the opacity to suit your liking then i think it's okay i believe it's okay like this the next thing we are going to be doing here as you can see she crossed her leg so how can we get that subtle shadow around the seat okay before we continue we have to select this adjustment layer that was linked to this image then use our ctrl e to merge both of them together so as it's not going to disturb our work so we'll create the empty layer and put it on top we can reduce the size of our brush then draw something like this here so all we need here is to reduce the opacity like so
then you can also let's take it more of inside so after doing that shadow you can go to the image and use your lasso to to select this area then after selecting you right click and feather with two then use your ctrl c to copy then ctrl v to paste we now have a copy of this which is supposed to be under not on top then with that now we can we can move this we can move it to the downside to be resting on the chair thereby we have to reduce the size a bit because it's not going to be the same size because of the distance between the the leg and where it, the shadow is landing so we have to put it this way so as long as we have it like this now i think we are good to go go to image adjustments then levels then you can take the black side to the output level you can take the output level to complete black then hit ok then you go to your filter blur then gaussian blur you can blur to a particular level which you'll be able to manage i think like this should be like this should be okay let's say 35 or 36 let's say 35 then hit ok go to your opacity and reduce the opacity like so so have this soft shadow within the seats so if you take a look at it now you notice that we've gone far on the top side of the image see this area of this seat there's supposed to be something like shadow because it's like the light is hitting from the from the right side to the left side so we have to see drop something there then you can go in there and select this first shadow that we use for the back here and pick your brush tool and okay let's try and do it this way and fold it to this direction then you can reduce the opacity if you wish let's say i uh, think it's okay this way then you can see how natural is looking like as if she is even sitting on the chair as we've tried to fit this image to the chair the background now we have to make it look more realistic then we have the seat like this and we want to drive the shadow from the right side to the left before we start, we need to create shadow under the leg of this chair to stick it to the ground. We have to create empty layer in between these two. So we have to select the background layer and click on our plus icon to add an empty layer. Then reduce our brush size and we have to paint in. Let's go to black and select black and start putting it under this stuff like this. reduce your brush size so small so that to make sure you have it very tiny under it this is what is going to add this stuff to this ground you will be surprised at it let's just finish So in case you didn't understand what you are doing initially, this is, let's say, this is before and this is floating and this is after. It's already attaching to it. Then let's reduce the opacity a bit. I think the opacity is good to go like this. Then after that, we have to create another empty layer. We have to create another empty layer. Click on this plus icon to get an empty layer. You can see the in between. Then now we are going to increase our brush size and push the shadow from from right to left which is the light is falling from this right right area to push this stuff like this so we have it like this then we can take the other one this way then this other one can come this way a little then we can do something like this and stop it here then after doing this, you know that we still have the chair. The chair is supposed to drop something like a shadow. Then let's finish with this first. Then go to opacity and reduce the opacity to, I think, something like something like 20% there about. Let's say 20% should be okay. Then let's go for the seat, the, the top side of the seat that 
that is like this let's see click an empty layer and increase our brush size just going to do it so casual just drag draw something like this because it's falling from right to left so we have to do it this way as long as it's falling from this side that is why i left it there you can also use your pick your move tool and push it to this direction more as you can see it's moving so this is it i just moved it then after doing that we have to go to our opacity and reduce our opacity also now we are having a different shadow from the the leg of the chair and the top of the chair so this is how it's looking now so we can also we can also add anything to this shadow like if you're looking at it like something that is too black for this background you can just go to your control b which is color balance and you can add a little yellow and a little red to the stuff and you see it's changed automatically so this is it we'll have this then we can also add red to this with control with our control b we'll add a little red to this uh, dark stuffs and you can see them going so we we'll have it this way then the next thing we do is i think it's not the last thing let's see how we can attach this shoe to the floor and make it look realistic a bit let's see So this is the shoe now we are going to do the same thing that we did to this chair which is supposed to be let's see yes then we pick our brush tool and add it to this stuff can just reduce the size of our brush very well then drag it under you you are going to be using soft round brush soft round brush let me go to the brush and show you we have to reduce the hardness the hardness should be at zero that is when you are using soft brush if you look at this area i left this area so this area is touching the ground direct that's why it's dark then we have to add another layer which is going to be lifted up a bit it's going to be a little bit lighter than what it used to be then put it like this we're going to add it to the entire stuff then we'll reduce the opacity of this one this particular one to something like let's say I think 42 is okay so as you can see we have it done if there's anything we have to do now we have to go to the background select the background take our rectangular marquee to drag around the background while avoiding the floor right click feather with like 200 or 300 then hit okay then go to filter then blow then Gaussian blow then we can take something like I believe like four points something should be okay and here we go then you can just deselect and see the see the entire work then you can also go in there and reduce opacities to to finish up stuff like this for the seat the shadow of the seat you can reduce it to i think 30 percent opacity for the seat 30 percent then the legs of the seat let's say let's take it to because it has been added to the top side let's say 10 should be okay i think we are good to go if i hold down my alt now and click on this image you see the before and after so this is before and this is after this is before this is after isn't that amazing so i believe that is it for today if you find it interesting helpful and useful let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped and the area we need to improve on like i said earlier if you are new on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not only by hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that i don't miss any of the next video thanks for watching today's video creative poll keep on creating please stay creative See you in the next video. Bye for now.